Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to ARC. Today I'm going to be working on irrigation. Now I showed off some irrigation in an early ARC video I did, but I didn't walk through the process of putting it together and I'm about to go do that at what we are calling our secondary base. Now some of you guys know that we have our own server now and uh, we had to essentially, in moving, start over. So <laughs> we have a brand new base here that'll probably show off at some point. It's pretty cool. Got the double high walls all the way around. Pretty large building in here, but um, we have a second base we're working on that's actually on the coast so we can kind of grab some megalodons and keep them close to us and uh, use that as kind of a hopping off point for our water-based adventuring. So anyway, we're going to do farm out there because, well, it's right by the water, which makes things easy. We are by the water here. There's a river uh, over the wall a bit, but we'd have to pipe that in a bit. And uh, since we probably will be spending more time over on the ocean uh, in the next coming days I guess <laughs> or weeks then uh, we figured we'd do the farm over there so anyway I'm gonna jump right into this basically we need a lot of stone to get started and fortunately we have quite a bit of that if I go into my craftables I set up an irrigation folder you can see all of this stuff takes stone just simply stone uh, with one exception being the tap here so we've got um, we've got this guy that we can access water from it, does require some wood that's fine we have a lot of wood that actually looks like this this is this one that just kind of pours water out and we can put water skins in it to refill it so let's go ahead and we're just gonna grab a big chunk of wood and a number of stone on here we won't be able to move but that's cool we're just gonna stand here and build anyway so let's get started we first want to start with um, an intake pipe so this basically pulls the water uh, from its source. In this case, it will be the ocean. And nope, it doesn't matter that it's salt water. <laughs> we can still use that for drinking, farming, that kind of stuff. So I think I just need one intake. Um, probably need a few incline pieces. Let's see, do we have the, I think that's this guy. So you think incline, let me think about this. We are doing it right on the beach, so we probably only need maybe one of those. We don't have to go up very high. We're gonna keep it right near the water. Um, then we're going to need some straight pipes, and let's queue up some of those. Um, probably not a whole lot. We're going to do one T-section, because we may come out of the water and then turn like a 90 degree and go along it. I'm not sure. And, of course, we will need the tap. So that's going to get us started. I think that's going to be just about all we need for now. Uh, every, Basically, for every straight segment or so, we're going to drop in a tap. And where that water pours out, we'll be able to put down the farm plots and they'll get watered. So uh, let me think about that. Do I want to do maybe one more? Let's see where we're at here. We've got five, so we now have six straight, one tap. Probably want three taps at least, so... Cool, that should get us started. Okay, so with the pipes started, we need to go upstairs. You'll have to mine the uh, hole in the floor. We haven't filled it since <laughs> removing it to rescue uh, one of our pals who slept on the floor and sunk into it. But um, anyway, we're gonna run over here to our bookshelf. This, is, this holds recipes and blueprints. So I don't think I've picked up any of the farm stuff. So we've got a large farm plot here. Let's just go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see, and I think, I was pretty sure there were some smaller ones. Um, this guy is a medium. Okay, and maybe we don't have smalls. Okay, well that's fine. We have a medium and a large. You can see the materials that we need to get these guys going. Uh, we do have some materials out at the beach base, but um, I don't know that we'll have enough. So we may try to make some of those right here, uh, maybe one or two. Um, we have a lot of that stuff here. Let's see, can we reach fiber, all of this from here? I think so. So let's take a peek. We're gonna look at what we need here for the medium. We need wood, thatch, fiber, stone, and yep, that's all within range here. So we're just gonna kinda throw into our inventory uh, quite a bit of all of those. Um, a few hundred of those guys. <laughs> How we hold all of this stuff, I have no idea. 200 stone, maybe uh, 200 thatch, and 200 fiber. So there we go, we can now make these guys. Let's go ahead and make a uh, medium to start with. Um, let's see, we're gonna craft this guy. I thought I could double click that, but maybe not. Okay, so that would be one. I'm trying to think if I wanna do one of each to get started. Um, let's do two mediums. 
We still have enough. Let's go ahead and make a large. So two mediums and a large. I think that's a pretty good start. Um, let's see, eight pounds. I'm trying to think of how much we're going to end up carrying here. So let's go ahead and put our materials back and uh, see where our weight is at at that point. Okay, well our weight was looking pretty good, so we should be set. We're going to cruise on over here to Tyrannoweem, <laughs> who happens to actually already be pointing the way we're going to take off. So let's go ahead and get headed out to the uh, new beach base. You can see we're way down. Not too bad though. It's not slowing us down or anything. So we just need to make a straight shot this way and uh, we will hit the beach and I can show you the new base and get started on the new irrigation system. Okay, here we go. We are flying in. You can already see the uh, foundation of this area. We don't have it completed yet. I'm just going to kind of fly around this a bit. Show you guys. <laughs> Tarana Weems amazing glasses. So there you go. We've got a platform down at the bottom. You can take the ladder all the way up. There's a secondary platform. And then you get all the way to the top there. And that's where we've got the uh, majority of the base. At least the flooring. And we do have a couple beds up here as well. So there you go, there's a quick glance at what we've got there. We'll obviously do walls and doors and windows and everything, but we're just getting the uh, foundation of the base put down at this point. So let's go ahead and fly over here, over to the water. I forgot which point it was at. There, I can see it now. So if we go over here, you'll see a bit of, uh, a, bit of a dock here. I'll go ahead and set Tyrannoween down. You go ahead and hang out here. <laughs> so there we go. We've got a dock out here already. Uh, this is something we go out here and take shots down at the Megalodons. Capture some of those. I think Kenneth has one or two of them. But anyway, it's somewhere around here we're going to wall this in a bit. And um, kind of set up a smaller... I don't want to call it a base, just kind of a fenced in area right here for maybe some storage of some items and things like that, a little bit of protection. So somewhere around here we're actually going to get the, um, the farm started. I'm going to take a look around and find a good spot. Okay, so I think this space will do. You can see the, uh, the bit of the dock right there. If I pan over, I've got Tyrannoweem just chilling. And then there's a, the water actually comes in here a little bit, pretty shallow and everything. And, I, and I'm actually thinking right here, I'm standing on a little bit of a hill here, but right down where Tyrannoweem is, this is actually a pretty good area right here, this area we're looking at. It's pretty flat, so I think this is going to be the place to go. Uh, let's just go ahead and move you over here. Come on, buddy. This way. Over here. Any day now. <laughs> there you go. Let's just, just chill somewhere here. So he's pretty tough. I've actually flown around with him and attacked a number of uh, Dialos just to see how it goes. So he's pretty good. I'm not too worried about him. Uh, let's go over here and get this thing started. So first thing we need to do is break out all of the uh, all of the pipes. So we've got the intake, incline, we got the straight, our intersection and our tap. So there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the intake. We need to bring the water in. So you can see this guy here. It's got the green. So we're going to kind of do this down here. Now I'm going to have to do the incline. It looks like no matter what, this isn't going to come up high enough. Let me step back here a bit. So because of that, and I don't want the um, the incline going too high in the air, I think I'll sink the um, sink the intake down here a bit just to just to see how this goes. I think we'll do something like that. Okay, so it's pretty low down there. That's fine. Um, let's see. The next thing we need to do is our incline. So I've hit three. So you can see that actually goes in the air quite a bit, but it looks like it'll end up being somewhat close to the ground. That's cool. It's better than some of the past ones we've had that have gone <laughs> pretty high up in the air. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and incline to that point. Yeah, I think that'll work. So now if we bring this, the straight one, you can see that it uh, looks like it's going to skim right along the ground. That's actually pretty cool. So what I could do at this point is do the intersection here and then start going this direction, which might not be a bad idea because we have the dock over there. And then we can kind of fence in this area. If I were to go straight, it's kind of a larger area we may need to uh, corral. So let's go ahead and put the intersection here. I think that'll work. And then what we'll do is we will break off in this direction. So we can actually place the tap after we've placed the straight pieces. So what I'm going to do 
At least I think. I know that I want to at least go one, so we're going to go ahead and test this. I'm pretty sure that was the case. Yeah, you can see I can actually put it right there. So we're going to go ahead and do the straight pipes first. Do another one here. Kind of get an angle here. So it does look like it goes up. We have a slight incline there, but I think we can go another two more this direction. There we go. I think that's pretty much all we need to do at this point. Let's go ahead and take the tap out now. And I don't want to do it necessarily right there. Um, this is probably good. Let's just go ahead and start out on the end here. I'm gonna put that guy there. We got water pouring out. And as you can see, we can do another one here. And I could do one more. The reality though is that we've only come out here with a few of these guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Uh, Let's go ahead and break out the medium. So you can see how much space these take up. I actually haven't seen the large, let's see. So that's pretty big. We can't go underneath it, but we can go right beside it. So let's actually see if we can get the large one out here at the end. We may not be able to because of the incline. And it's just a vicinity thing, so as long as it's close. Yeah, I think that works. Let's look at the large guy there. That should work. Granted, it says... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whew! I was like, oh no, that's a bummer. I'll have to make another one, but there we go. It just took it a second. So let's go ahead and grab the mediums. And I think what we'll do with these is we might just put these right here. Kind of right at the end and up close to the large one. Something like that. I think that'll work. And get the next one in here. Same, but on the other side. This incline might be giving... Might give us some trouble here. Yep. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and put it next to it on this side. We'll just keep it all on one side. At least for now. Get these nice and snug. Cool. There we go. We've got the uh, plots down, the pipes down. This is pretty cool. So what we can end up doing is maybe running a wall from this point right behind him and just run this straight over here. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty well. Now, obviously, uh, this is less about people because you could swim around. We're not going to probably wall the whole thing in. But it's more about protecting it from other dinosaurs. If they if they kind of come around and start a fight, they'll cause damage to this. And the way these pipes work, if you damage one of these and break it, it breaks the entire line. So we're going to want some kind of wall around here to protect that a bit. But uh, there we go. We've got this thing, uh, got this thing laid out and started. Okay, before we go, I thought I would get the uh, farms going at least a little bit. Uh, we have a friend named Ben, and he was wanting to get in on the farming, so I don't want to do everything, but I do want to show you guys a bit about this. So you can see that we have this water, 400 to 400. We do have fertilizer on there, and it is seeded with rock carrot seed. So what happens is if I go in here and open this up, you'll kind of put in the fertilizer and the seed, then the seed will disappear as it appears out here. So that guy's set up. Let's go ahead and jump over to this one and bring this up so we can drop the fertilizer in and then we can throw in a seed. Now we already have the rock carrot seed, so let's go ahead and throw the long grass seed in there. And even though I dragged over four, it just does the one and then you saw it disappeared and now they've reappeared here growing. So you can see that we're seeded, we got the fertilizer and obviously the water. So one thing you have to watch is the fertilizer, right? The number it just went down in front of us while we're watching it. And obviously it's kind of a big number, 54,000 or so when you start, but it will slowly kind of crawl down and just got to keep making sure you get some fertilizer in there. Now, I believe we can actually put more than one in there. Yeah, there we go. So now it's got 107,000. We can do the same over here. And we have quite a bit of fertilizer back at the base. And basically, for fertilizer, you just get a compost bin and you put in thatch and dinosaur poop. <laughs> And that just makes those bags of fertilizer. We have quite a bit of those. So anyway, I think that's where we're going to leave it. I just wanted to quickly show you the irrigation setup. I've shown off our system at our previous base after it was already done. But I wanted to show you guys what that looks like putting it together because a number of you asked after that video, well, hey, let's see how you actually put it together. Uh, so anyway, I needed to do this out here anyway. Figured I would bring you guys in and show you. So there we go. We've got our farm somewhat set up here on the beach. You can see our base in the background getting set up. And this dodo coming to check things out, I suppose. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.